jobs, save lives. Save 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 jobs, save lives. Workers actually standing out and speaking on the issue ahead. You know, um, some of the things that we're trying to do at USC is just keep the employees safe as well as the students and to make sure everybody feel comfortable with going, coming to work, knowing that their health is being protected as well as the students' health is being protected. Um, we're here today to deliver a letter um, to one of the head people in the office. Um, basically what the letter is stating that they want to make sure that you know, they're asking to keep us safe. Basically saying that we would like to have adequate equipment like gloves, um, gowns, and shields when necessary um, per shift. And that there should be a screening done every day for employees when they come to work. Also, um, they want to have accommodations that comply with the the HRPAA and the ADA. The other issue that we was concerned about is our jobs, keeping our jobs safe. So we um, are asking that, you know, there should be some um, protocol to add, you know, weeks of uh, additional sick leave that should be provided to all workers, including temporary workers. And we're trying to prevent the privatization of UNC housekeepers, meaning trying to prevent other private companies coming in you know, and doing the job that we do, which is what protects our job. If they do that, it'll put us all at, you know, risk with income. Um, they want to also do teaching in person, which is optional, which um, is for faculty and workers without demanding reason or cause, making it an option if you want to be taught on how to handle it, how to um, work with the, the issue at hand. Um, they want also to restore a few administration leave for all university employees, including temporary. Because as of where we stand right now, um, temporary workers and essential workers such as myself, we're told that we do not qualify for this because we were we were signed up to do this. So basically, they're, the union is trying to help us or help be our voice to say, you know, yes, we signed up for this. But we still have concerns, we still have families, so we still have to be safe as well. Um, another good idea that we're talking about in this letter is doing having child care services, having the university maybe pay for the coverage for the children of the university workers that's part-time and temporary, which like in my case, that would be an issue with me because I have three kids and I'm a single parent and I'm by myself. And you know, some of the workers do not have childcare and that's one of the issues that they're concerned of why they wouldn't be able to complete the tax. So that's what we're trying to do and work on their behalf to make sure it's, you know, everything is taken care of while we're coming to work, putting our life on the line to make sure that these students get the services that they need, you know, but while we're doing it, we got to be safe too. It's not just about the students, it's also about the workers. And I think that's what's getting mixed up around that the university is concerned with the students' health, but they're not concerned with the workers' health. So this is the reason for this, because one of the issues that we had was universities requiring us to wear masks at all times, but they're not requiring the students to do it. They've been walking around lately with no mask. And it's like, okay, if we're you trying to make us keep them safe, what about our state? Shouldn't they have the same requirements? Should something be put in place for them? Because, you know, we, 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 we got families too. You know, we have to go home with our families. And just in case if somebody gets sick, that puts us in health and taking it home with us. So, you know, I think this is a good thing. And hopefully we get more supporters than this. I wish people would take it serious because this is life threatening. And, you know, people's lives have been put at risk for this. Some have died, some haven't, you know, but it's still something that everybody should take serious you know um because you only get my life to live you know so i think that's very important honey worked from a housekeeper and worked yourself up you can lose touch with the reality of things so we need to have people concerns about keeping keeping us safe um supplying proper um PEE to make us 
feel safe as well as well as us not, instead of as well as the students. Basically keeping our jobs and requesting public records regarding the proposition of housekeeping jobs with the company that they're using for the SERPRO for the uh, dorms that were affected by COVID-19. And if you could just read the letter and sign right here to say that you receive it. We have 308 signatures from workers and people all over campus that are addressing their concerns and their uh, opinions based on what's going on with COVID-19. Thank you very much. No problem. And I'd like to make sure that everyone knows that the University Housekeeping Services is committed to making sure that all our students, yes. staff, and faculty are treated safely. We have all protections. We follow the CDC guidelines, the guidelines set up by EHS, Environmental Health and Services, and we've done extensive training inside of housekeeping. So we're doing our best to make sure that everyone is safe. If you look across the university, we have doctors, research scientists, nurses, and students that want to find a solution to this COVID-19 situation and housekeeping is committed to being a part of that. If doctors and nurses do not have clean facilities, how can they do their work? Everyone wants a cure or vaccine. Housekeeping is committed to being a part of that. And I'll make sure that the chancellor gets this. Thank you. One of the things they mentioned was that there